water we need water for our day to day activities water is an essential part of our lives it is required for drinking cooking bathing irrigation purposes and generating electricity sources of water nature provides us with water through two sources snow and rain snow and ice deposits in frigid areas melt to form water water from the rain on the other hand is made available when water droplets condense in the form of rain clouds and cause rainfall rain and snow most of the fresh water on earth comes from rain fresh water is found in ponds lakes and rivers a pond is a small water body surrounded by land a lake is bigger than a pond rivers originate from glaciers in the mountains and flow through highlands and plains various streams or tributaries join a river till it finally flows into the sea rivers like ganga yamuna and brahmaputra originate from the himalayas they get water from the melting of snow therefore they are called snow fed rivers the godavari krishna and kaveri get water from rains during the rainy season they are called rain fed rivers oceans and seas oceans are the largest water bodies on earth sea is a large water body which is a part of an ocean sea water is salty therefore it cannot be used for drinking cooking or irrigation ground water some of the rain water collects underground as ground water which is clean and safe for drinking wells hand pumps and tube wells are used to draw water from such ground water reservoirs at some places ground water comes to the surface in the form of hot water springs or geysers as in yellowstone national park wyoming usa water cycle when sun rays fall on earth water from rivers lakes seas and oceans gets heated and evaporates to form water vapor the process by which water changes from liquid to vapor is called evaporation this water vapor rises to form clouds the process by which water vapor changes into water is called condensation eventually the water droplets formed in clouds become heavy and begin to fall these falling water droplets are called rain the falling of water from the sky in the form of rain hail or snow is called precipitation storage of water water is required for growing crops generating electricity and domestic activities as we do not get rainfall throughout the year we need to store and conserve water this is done by constructing dams reservoirs and canals dam a dam is a wall built across a river to check the flow of water this water is stored and used 
to generate electricity. Dams also prevent floods. Reservoir It is an artificial lake constructed behind a dam to store water. Canal It is a channel taken out from a river or a reservoir. It is used to irrigate fields. At home At home, people store water in clean and covered utensils, pots, buckets and tanks. Properties of water We have learned about water sources and water storage. Now, let us learn about the general properties of water. Pure water is a tasteless, colorless and odorless liquid. Density Density of a substance is the amount of matter present in a unit volume of that substance. The substance which has more density will be heavier than the same volume of a substance which has less density. Purification of water Water suitable for drinking is called potable water. Water which reaches our homes through pipes may get contaminated on the way if pipes are rusted or have leaks. Unfiltered water may have disease-causing germs in it. Therefore, it is essential to purify water before consuming it. Water can be purified by the following methods. Boiling Water should be boiled for 15 minutes to kill the germs and bacteria. Filtration It is a common method of water purification. In this method, water is passed through a filtering device to remove impurities like dust and germs. The traditional water filter uses two or three pots one upon the other to filter water. Chlorination Chlorine tablets are mixed in water to kill germs. Modern techniques Modern water filters use advanced techniques such as RO that is reverse osmosis and ultraviolet radiation to purify water. Why should we save water? Nearly three-fourths of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Of this, 97% of water is available in seas and oceans. The remaining 3% is either frozen, underground or is in the form of rivers or lakes. To conclude, Fresh water in rivers, lakes and streams, which we can readily use, forms only 0.3% of all the water available on earth. Hence, we must use water very sensibly. We should not waste or pollute water. Water Conservation Steps to Save Water at Home Close taps properly after use. Reuse kitchen water to water plants in your garden. Do not throw plastics and polythene bags into a water source or a drain. Replace or repair leaking taps or pipes immediately. Create awareness about water conservation among people. Rainwater harvesting We can also conserve water by a technique called rainwater harvesting. It can be done at an individual or community level. Through this technique, rainwater is collected in man-made structures like tanks.